Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Orion Tech Tips YouTube video. Here we got the Dell G16 2023 model, spec that one with the uh, RTX 4070 and the i9-13900HX. I already did a uh, unboxing and overview on the laptop, uh, check that video out soon. I will do like more like in-depth performance analysis if you want any like games or specific applications you want tested on this, make sure to let me know. But we are going to be installing this uh, Western Digital Black SN850X 4 terabyte drive. This is to my knowledge, the fastest and most high capacity Gen 4 NVMe SSD. This thing has a DRAM cache, uh, pretty much every single thing you would want. From it, a uh, 7300 um, read speed and a 6900 uh, megabytes per second write speed. Very, very fast. I know the uh, Samsung 980 Pro is, uh, I believe it's 7200 megabytes per second on the read. So 100 megabytes slower. Uh, but it's also, it only has a 2 terabyte capacity, this has a 4 terabyte capacity, so you're getting faster storage, and you're also getting double storage for it. Uh, I got this on Black Friday for, uh, I think over 100 bucks, like 150 bucks off. Crazy, or sorry, not Black Friday, uh, Prime deals in October. Crazy story, I might uh, get into that in a later date, but it's not really important for this video. So let's unbox this drive and get started. So I want to show you how you install it on the laptop. Uh, if you have a laptop, feel free to follow along. And I'll talk about if you can or can't install this drive, what to do and what not to do. So let's mount you to the tripod and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is unscrew 11 Phillips head screws. Keep in mind that these two front ones do sit flush with the board. All you want to do is just grab a cheap and expensive laptop or phone repair kit. It's going to look like this, it's going to have some tools in it. Uh, this one is just a cheap one I got off Amazon. You can also get a like branded iFixit one for 40 bucks. This one is 20 bucks, just an unbranded no name. Um, it personally for me it works just as well it's exactly like the i fix it but just no name brand recognition but you know 40 bucks for the name brand or 20 bucks without the name brand so let's uh, take a pick okay so once you do that i already unscrewed the screws just grab a pry tool and you want to like slide it down and just slide it want to like make sure might take a few times. Just want to make sure everything is very loose. Uh, make sure you don't lose the screw. So I'm just going to put it. Uh, I'm just going to put it on the tray here. And now I'm going to do that with all the screws.
Okay, and boom, just like that, our panel did come off. So we'll just move this, and uh, boom. So I mean, just like that, we can see the Dell G16. See the 32 gigabytes of RAM, 40 hundred megahertz. My next upgrade will be upgrading this to, uh, I want 32 gigabytes of RAM, or sorry, 64 gigabytes of RAM at 3600 megahertz would be nice. If you're wondering, I just use this slide, uh, this sprite tool, just slid it across the edges, and boom. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is just unplug the battery. Okay, what's up guys? I currently have the laptop docked, but I just want to like show you guys how to, once you installed it, once you just screwed back in the screws, plug in the battery, I kind of had to like rush to get out. So that's why I didn't show you the last steps. I did it in my room, uh, not in the dining room. So all you have to do is just go to uh, disk management. Uh, and then you can see, we'll go into full screen here. Uh, so we have like our, our main drive and then we can see disc one, both of them are basic. If you want to do a RAID array, you just have to convert them into dynamic. So if you want to buy like two WD blacks, uh, and then run like a RAID zero, so you get like a super duper speed, uh, you can certainly do that. So just, um, right click, click new simple volume, click next. Uh, you want to do all of it. So you just click next. Uh, assign letters, so do whatever you want. I'm going to do D for data. Uh, NTFS, default, label, new volume, uh, quick format, finish. And boom, your drive is formatted and you are ready to go. So, uh, yeah, that, that's it. Um, okay, so now your disk is formatted. What's up guys, Editing Orion Tech Tips here. I just realized I forgot to film an outro for that video, so here it is. If you enjoyed that video, feel free to leave a like and get subscribed. If you have a request for a future video, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will be sure to get back to you. Other than that, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. God bless.